Okay, guys, it's like 4.40 in the morning. I have written at least five verses for this Tinashe remix, and each time I write it and, like, I hear a new remix come out, I'm just like... No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this, like, absolute fucking justice because this is a great song. This is a great song, and I feel like... The fact that this happened organically and there wasn't like some fucking like big stupid fucking rollout and just all this other thing like what I what what makes me love this song so much is that like I found it you know what I'm saying like do you remember how you like how exciting it was to find music and like have it and you're just like yes I got it like that's how I feel about this song and it's fun She's having a lot of fun on this song. And I don't think any I don't think anyone's actually had as much fun as Tinashe is having on this record. And I'm having I'm having a lot of fun <laughs> doing this fucking record. Um because there is difficulty in making something that is undeniably good and like simple like simplicity for songwriters can sometimes be really tough and there is there, there there's there's a tough genius in being able to simply say things succinctly say things get to the point and bam like I understand what this song is about. A lot of the last shit that's out, I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. And you know, I, I really do think that a lot should be said and celebrated about the fact that she has, like, she's true to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, she stayed true to this fucking shit. Like, she looks good. Like, body's on fucking point. Like. There's no gimmicks around it. Like, there's no fucking, just no stupidity, no stupidity, no kind of like, not, you know, there's not too much of that, like, new kind of like TikTok, whatever. I mean, I, I guess, yeah, TikTok blows songs up 100%. But you don't see her doing anything like corny. Like, this is very cool. Very, 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 this is really cool. This is actually cool. And it's not, um, it's not like lollipopping off of anybody else's aesthetic, you know? And just like in this day and age when the media is, like, fuck the media. Fuck the media and, like, fuck you bitches. Like, I'm sorry, like, no, like, Tanache is a star. She's a star. She can, like, she makes products that walks on their two, their own two legs. I'm a star. I make products that walk on their own two legs. I don't have to, like, surround myself with <laughs> bitches that I don't know and bitches that I don't fucking like to uh, get attention. Like, no. This this is the song of the summer. It's not that espresso shit. It's none of that fucking brat bullshit. This is the song of the summer. And the shit better ride. No. And, and Tinashe is a pop star. There's been a lot of talk about pop stars and shit like that. But these bitches don't even have good posture. Like, bitches look sweaty. And no, mm -mm, you guys make way too many concessions for these, like, like, especially these trashy white girls making this trashy fucking music and this, like, trash-ass bullshit. But honestly, like, when you think about it, like, an institution like Billboard was probably, was definitely erected to put white faces that were stealing black music into this kind of, like, meritocracy system. And, like, it, it was, like, meant to keep black people out and meant to try and define history in a weird way you know and that's all that's happening this summer like let the fucking black girls have their thing it's called a hot girl summer 
that is it. It no. No. Just just the fact that that like is so fucking unoriginal. Like where where are the music journalists? Where are like re- really where are they? I'm I'm starting to think that a lot of these like articles are like written by fucking AI or some bullshit because this shit is no. The whole like musical landscape right now is like garbage. It's garbage. Like, just the wackest parts of, like, white stand Twitter, like... And honestly, there are, like, way too many white gay voices. Um, just making making the consensus on, like, what's hot and what's not. And it just, they're obviously, like... Yeah, because they, they see, like... They probably like see their like mediocre sister or like their mediocre mom and like these like mediocre white bitches and they're just like, you know, they relate to it or whatever. But like, there needs to be just a more. There needs to be way like, way more of an objective and thorough reporting on music because it's not fair. It's not fair. Like the black girls be busting they fucking ass. Busting they ass to bring that heat. 